Hello everybody, and uh, Sendercraptor here as you can see, and I've been practicing um, um, command blocks for the past, like, freaking four days, I think, and uh, I've, the only command that I actually had to look up um, was the, it was the XP one, I mean, I had it all completely right. Um, except I didn't put the L after it, and I mean, I've just done this from past on in a server. But, so today, I can turn that off, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to, um, and what the, how to use a command block and what they do. So a command block is something that looks like this. They can usually be spawned in by, um, uh, bah, 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 bah. if I can find one. Several hours later of looking for a damn command block. Well, they can be found in too many items, and that's it. Or you could type in slash give or give your name one thirty seven, and I give myself command block because uh, that's the ID for command block. So what you do is you'd place it down, and you would type in any command. Um, so I just do time or slash time set zero. Or, oops. Time set zero, and that will just do that. But I need a redstone current to activate it, so I'd have to do that. And it set the time to zero, see? And then, um, but if you only want to, you can't do it with this kind of a command because it's a, you know, a derpy kind of command. So, yeah. Um, but I'll show you the, what you can do with other things. Okay, so, right here, this is how you TB, TP. You can, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to, like, teleport to somebody. Like, you do TP, Trenton24, the other person's person's name and then yeah that's what you do but for this I'm doing coordinates which I think is really cool for like maybe making an adventure map so let's say I want to go back to spawn so I'll just click this Doop. I teleport to this block right here see it Doop. I think that's pretty cool just uh, if you want to make something like that so uh, next is time set I just showed you guys to do that derp Okay, um, then game rules. This, uh, was something that took me a while to figure out, but I remembered it from, uh, way back in, like, 1.8 when I had a server. And, but, oh, you do slash game rule, do mob spawning, false. So this would do, is I would do, now the game rule has been updated, so now I can, if I set the time to midnight, you're gonna see no mobs. But, this is really good for if you want, like, a certain kind of adventure map. Zombies can only be spawned in from, um, well, over there. I don't really like that. Um, zombies can only be spawned in from, um, bet, bet, bet. Or, mobs can only be spawned in from, uh, mob spawners and eggs. So that's really useful if you're making an adventure map. Um, okay. So next is gonna be the XP. This is really used, uh, used for making shops. This is what I used it for. I used it for making shops. Um, on some of my adventure maps that I'm working on right now. So this is the command you do slash XP minus one e or how much you ever you want to minus, but you have to put the L and they would do at P for the nearest player. Same goes for this one. Uh, you don't need like I mean for the other ones you don't need uh, this because it just does it automatically. But you wanna what you can do is you can um just have one button. You can just have one button and just do this really. Let's see? Eh? Eh. Or you kind of need a redstone repeater, but you go all the way around, and you put another redstone repeater right there, which I don't feel like doing. But if you just press that button, it'll do both of them, so, you know, it would it would work well. So if you want to, like, start a game, you'd have to turn on the game rules, and, uh, you know, could minus one XP for it, but it doesn't matter. So this next one is game mode. This one's pretty simple. If I want to um, turn the game mode zero, press that. I'm in survival mode now. See it? Derp. So then I could just turn it into this. And now, um, here's another one that I thought might be good for, um, maybe, like, completing an OB. So you do slash give at P, um, or no, um, like, let's see, one at P. You just do that, and I'm like, press the button, and, uh, did I do it wrong? I think I did it wrong. I'm gonna just do this. At P, one. Is that it? There you go. See that? That's what it would be, and it would give you the one stone. But what else would you do? Like, just, instead of just making that, you would press a button, uh, you'd put another command block right here, and you would type in, um, you know, a slash, um, 
TP um, negative zero nine two thirty seven and then you'd press okay I think that's it and you press it I did it wrong didn't I what did I do what did I do wrong I did something wrong sorry I'm derping right now oh yeah derp okay there that's how you do it and then you use that whoa I think I did it wrong. I don't think I gave him the correct co coordinates, but, uh... I'm pretty sure you get the idea. <laughs> the Hulk! Jesus. But, there you go, guys. I'm gonna work on getting back to my command block area. Jeez, where am I? So, I hope you guys have a good day. Peace out. Put the wrong Z coordinate in. Damn it! How am I supposed to get back? Well.